Hi, this is Richard C. I'm a math tutor here at WiseAnt answering a question submitted by a student. Um, this is a pretty nice little pr problem about similar triangles. And uh, what, they, what they want us to prove is that these two triangles here are similar, GCB and PBE. And so we're going to start with the easy one. The easy part is the vertical angles. You can see that, that these two angles are congruent because they're vertical angles. And we just need to get another pair of angles congruent, and then we'll have sufficient, we'll have proven uh, similarity here. So let's, what I want to do is just mark up the diagram a little bit. And we're going to um, extend the lines of the parallelogram. So I'm just going to extend this, this line here like that and extend this line here like that. And then this is the transversal that we're going to work with here, this line here, transversal. Okay, so hopefully you can see that let's see did I extend that right? Yeah. This angle and this angle are alternate interior. So do you see they they lie on they they lie on alternate sides of the transversal. GE is the transversal. Let's extend this parallel line down like that. Yeah, so I'm extending. I have the extensions drawn in the wrong way. Yeah, I'm going to extend this way. And this way. Okay. So I think you can see that they lie on opposite sides of the transversal. So this angle, here's your transversal GE. And um, the parallel lines are R, E, and G, C. Just extend that out a little further. Hopefully you make it easier to see. Okay, so that's... Those are our alternate interior angles. So I'm writing, I'm not writing this out, but I'm treating it like a proof. And so now we've proven that these two triangles are similar. I'm, I am going to write a formal similarity statement because that's going to make answering the rest of the question a lot easier. So let's start with the top triangle, triangle GCB. is similar. So angle G, you can see, corresponds with angle E. And angle B here corresponds with the angle B here. So which means that, oh, sorry. Okay, so angle C, sorry, angle C here corresponds with angle P. And then angle B corresponds with angle B. So it's important to write out the similarity statement so that you have the corresponding angles lined up. G and E, C and P. Notice C and P are the angles that are not marked. And then angle B with angle B, those are the vertical angles that we started with. 
So now we have, uh, we've answered part A. These are the similar triangles. And then the reason for this, which is part B, is just angle, angle. If two uh, triangles have, are similar, um, if two triangles have angles that are congruent to each other, corresponding angles that are congruent to each other, then the two triangles are similar. Okay, last one, the dist distances. So here's how I like to do it. I look at my congruence statement, or in this case, my similarity statement. And they want to know BE, B to E. OK, so that's the first and the last, you see, B to E. So this is going to be the first and the last. So B to E B E corresponds with G B and G B as now we're gonna take two things that we know B P and C B. You can see that B P change colors again. CB is here. And then BP is here. See how they correspond. And so CB is the PB. And we know that CB is uh, 350. And we know that PB is 250. And so we're headed over now to a solution. BE is what we're solving for. And GB is 450. So that would give us BE is equal to B, pull on my calculator here. 350 times 450 over 250. 350 times 450 divided by 250. And I'm getting an answer of, on my calculator, 630. So that's BE. Six thirty. Hmm. Three fifty times four fifty one by. Hmm. Okay, I would not expect it to be bigger. I don't expect B E to be bigger than GB. So I'm thinking there's some, there might be something wrong. Let's finish this one under distance from B to E and P to E, B to E and P to E. All right, so let's do P to E in another color and just see what we get. So P to E, they want P E, so P E he corresponds with G C. And we're going to use on the right hand side the same ratio. B E, hold it, B E over this is little over big. Yeah, that's why I, I'm sorry. I have it flipped. Excuse me, 250 over 350. Yep. Apologize. So BE is the um, the small. We have small over big here. And so we want the small one, which would be, uh, what, what are we looking for? small over big 
uh, 250 over 350 here. Okay. So let's go back and fix that. I just had the uh, ratio upside down. Okay. So it's 250 times 450. Divided by 350. And I get 321. So BE is 321. That's more like it. Okay, now we'll finish this off. We want to get small over big, so PE, PE, which is the first and the uh, first two together, that corresponds to GC, which are the first two together. <clears throat> That's also going to be 250 over 350. 250 over 350. And we know that GC is 400, so PE equals 400 times 250 over 350. Okay, let me finish that off on my calculator and we're done. Well, that seems that seems reasonable. So those numbers all look reasonable to me. So as long as you don't get your uh, your ratios up, upside down, which is what I did, do this. Uh, I do this all the time. I don't know why I didn't do it in this particular moment, but. I, I like to write a note to myself like this so that I don't mess up and get things inverted the way they were earlier. So I hope this helped you. And uh, just get used to these. Um, they're not that hard. You just have to make sure you get the corresponding parts right. And, of course, you have to make sure your ratios are set up right. And then it flows pretty naturally. Okay, so that's it for this problem. I hope this was helpful to you. And I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.